This is Darren Workman with Yost Farm Supply, St. Francis, Kansas. We are in a WR9980 with a C2100 console and an Ag3000 auto steer. We are going to do a compass calibration and mounting bias calibration today. So hit your auto steer tab, brings us up into here. And we will go to the wrench button. We will scroll down once, scroll down twice. We'll go into calibration going to compass calibration compass calibration data already exists to continue so must be on ground level now what we'll do is just drive in a circle in a, about a 50 foot radius it's it's you know 25 50 75 it's it all depends on the room that you got it actually works scenario just don't just don't set in one spot and spin a circle there's one full circle check confirming calibration step four is complete press the tick to exit there we go it's as simple as that gives us the green light mounting bias calibration uh, a little more to it but not that big a deal please position the vehicle at starting point for calibration press a when ready so have a pretty good sized area to do this don't don't pick a tight area and it's a lot easier to, to deal with. So I'm gonna line up here in a straight line. I'm gonna press A. Now I'm gonna drive 230 feet. And it is counting for us right here on the feet that we're going. Turn the vehicle around and position it on point B. So I'm going to spin the swather around. Then we are going to engage. drive back to A and I need to maintain about 1.2 mile an hour. And you'll notice when our auto steer is engaged everything's green. And by the way you will not be able to do this if you don't have green light go on WAS and green light go on GLONASS. If any of those are red you will not be able to do this. So, you know, we're running 1.7. It's not that big a deal. Get back off of it just a hair. And what this is doing is this is, this is doing your response. It's doing the, you know, line acquisition. It's telling the gyros up in the globe what is going on uh, with your line acquisition, a roll cal, everything like that. It's um, that's why it does take a little bit longer to do this setup, but it's it's really not that hard to do. You know, you got to do it once, maybe maybe once every year if you want it to be more accurate. Um, but what we did find out though is you do want to. Um, have your latest software in your machine Especially if you're running HP XP Omnistar it helps with convergence time 
and you know you don't want to be sitting in the field and having it set and converge for 45 minutes every morning oh now turn vehicle around And you'll notice here our cross track error, you know, we're we're drifting back and forth, see so it's still trying to find itself. So that's what the auto steer is doing. It's telling us how far it's cross track air and off the line. I am just about out of fuel in the swather. And see, and while we're doing this, we still got 77 feet to go. But, you know, our, our task controller is still running. That's why it says stop up here, and that's why this is green. So if you guys want to take your task controller and stop it, you know, now you're blue over here, and it counts how many acres that we've, you know, summarized. So really, Really nice to do if you want to keep track in exactly what you're doing. Um, get back over here, 15 feet to go. Okay, calibration complete, that's it. Now what I like to do is, uh, you know, go through, set up an AB line. So, I'll just show you guys real quick, stop. And we'll go in here, do an A plus heading. So, hit that. And then, so here's our four options here. Do an A plus heading. Our swather is pointed at 180 degrees right now. So we're gonna hit the check mark. Now I'm gonna mark A, and there's our line. Engage to perfect. And like I said before, I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but if your swather is not running, if your header is not engaged, you cannot use your auto steer button here. You have to use that one right there. So, and that is that is it. Now we'll want to watch our truck cross track error up here and make sure that it's staying within WAS signal. And you know, as long as it's not drifting back and forth, your cross track error. And that's really what you're after. Appreciate you guys watching. This is Yost Farm Supply, St. Francis, Kansas, 785-332-3351. Thanks.